Hi everyone! Today we're going to be taking a look at quite a lot of Illuminati Freemason symbolism. So the first thing I want to say is, the God Particle is mentioned in both the Angels and Demons movie, but also the Cloverfield Paradox movie. And also both of those movies have got to do with CERN and the Hadron Collider. So let's just move on to Hellboy now. And you see that Hellboy is shown like the devil or a demon. <clears throat> and then, basically, Mila Djokovic is in this movie. <clears throat> now, she plays Alice in the Resident Evil movies. So she's basically like the Alice in Wonderland character, like the Revelation 12 woman character. But you see... The character that she's playing in this Hellboy movie is called Nemu the Blood Queen. Now, the colour of blood is red. Just like you have the red for Satan and the red of Hellboy's skin. But also, if you take into account blood red, see the dress that she wears in Resident Evil, blood red, see? That's the colour of it. <clears throat> so, and even um, more symbolism is right here with this Sasha Lane actress. Um, she's playing a character called Alice, see? Going back to the whole Alice in Wonderland thing. So, Sasha Lane is going to play Alice. Mila has played Alice, see? Perfect symbolism right there. So, if we click on this one... Uh, actress's IMDB profile. Oops, sorry. Don't know what happened there. See? She is wearing blue for Jesus. Just like the blue of Captain America, see? And the blue that Alice in Wonderland wears. See? Alice in Wonderland right there. Wearing blue for Jesus and Captain America. It could, it could have something to do with the fact that this guy's wearing blue as well. Let's scroll down right here. It says, this will be the first Dark Horse reboot film. Well, <clears throat> that's not really um, appropriate for this video because that's not... I mean, well, I suppose it kind of is, in a way, because Dark Horse, it's got to do with the time of darkness coming. So, just like the Dark Knight, Batman. So, see the Golden Army for the Golden Age? And that actually links with this Golden Idol right here. So... <clears throat> This film is actually going to be filmed in Wales and Wales Cathedral. <clears throat> so that's in Somerset in England. And um, so, <clears throat> well, we don't know. The filming might have already started. But. The point is, you see this one Michael actor, just like you have Michael the Archangel or Michael Jackson. Then you have the Mark, just like you have Mark Hamill. <clears throat> and Mark Wahlberg. And then you have Vanessa. See that V for the fifth age? That's where there's a five here. That's why there's a five here, see? The point is, the fact that it's going to be shot in Welsh Cathedral, well, some of it is, at least, um, that links with, like, religion and Christianity. So, <clears throat> see how the Black Order in Marvel represents just, like, the First Order in Star Wars? And that's why this Black Order is going to be in, in Avengers Infinity War, to show the symbolism even more. 
So you see how the black is linked with the darkness. See? And then the horse is probably to do with the horseman of the apocalypse. So, in Resident Evil, the final chapter, um, it's really weird because, like, if I remember rightly, there's this whole thing that's revealed, and it's like, oh, Alice was actually the Red Queen after all. Like, like Alice, as a child, was the Red Queen. And that's, like, how it, how it was, like, programmed into the system or something. But but the reason that ha happens and that was revealed in the film is because it's a satanic thing. Like, because we know, like, um, that Alice and the Red Queen are two separate characters. They're not the same character. Like, you only have to go back to your basic lore to know that. Like, your basic Alice in Wonderland's Lewis Carroll books. To know that. Like. Like. It, it, it could be like. A yin and yang. Two sides of the coin situation. Like. Iron Man's one side of the coin. And then Captain America's the other side of the coin. Just like. Um, Red Queen's one side of the coin. And Alice is the other side of the coin. Um. But, you know, it's like, it even goes back to, like, um, that film where Ewan McGregor plays Jesus and the devil. Like, devil's one side of the coin, Jesus is the other side of the coin. Like, <clears throat> so it could even be to do with the fact that Alice, um, a.k.a. Mia Vazakowska, um, is wearing a red dress right here. So you see two Alices, um, both with blonde hair, and both wearing red. <clears throat> so, I mean, Mila starts with M-I, just like Mia starts with M-I. So, it could even be to do with M.I. Mission Impossible. Like, the whole reason that Ewan McGregor um, said that he loved Last Jedi is because it's a satanic film. <clears throat> like, because the Illuminati and Freemasons are trying to push these satanic agendas, along with all of the actors and actresses, in Hollywood that they have control over. Like, so, unfortunately, Ewan McGregor may be under the control of the, of the Illuminati and Freemasons, just like um, the character that he plays in Angels and Demons, like, he was basically part of the Illuminati. Like, <clears throat> so, see, Baby Groot holding the eye for the Eye of Horrors, and then, see, Kylo Ren and Jesus. Satan versus God. See? So, on the 17th of February in England and Wales, we had a mini earthquake. Now, that could be to do with the earthquakes mentioned in Revelation 12 of the Bible, where, where, it, said, where it talks about the earth helping the woman. See? 11.5, 11.3. That's got to do with earthquakes. Um, I know the mini earthquake was a 4.4 earthquake. Um, but it, it's just a sign of, of things to come. Like, it's like, basically... This Hellboy film is being shot in Wales, in Somerset. 
So it's just like um, Welsh Wales w- was hit by the earthquake. And um, Wales in Somerset was probably hit by the earthquake as well. <clears throat> We've got another Robert Langdon film coming out soon. Um, so it's part of the same franchise as the, Vi- of, uh, as the Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons and Inferno. <clears throat> and... Um, well, the, the latest one is called The Lost Symbol, and it's to do with the Freemasons. Now, the Inferno, um, in the Inferno movie and the Inferno and the Inferno novel, um, basically it represents just like the Death Star, um, firing its laser at the end of Rogue One. And that's why Felicity Jones is in both movies, because she represents the Rev-12 woman. So, we even have Mary Magdalene the movie coming out. Again, linking with Christianity. Um, And um, just like Mary Magdalene was a key part of the Da Vinci Code film, even though she wasn't actually in it like her descendants was so basically um in impractical jokers um they showed a zombie apocalypse and it's basically because the dead are supposed to rise at the end of days. Now, whether this is zombies or ghosts is yet to be seen. Um, but here's that the eagle mentions in Revelation 12 right there. Like where it talks about uh, the wings being granted to the woman. So... In the Inferno movie and the Inferno novel, there's a virus, and it represents just like the the T virus in Resident Evil. <clears throat> the T virus that brings about zombies and hideous biological creatures, like mutations. So, it's just like viruses and plagues and bacteria is supposed to spread in real life, whether that be from injections or pills or whatever. You have Silas, the serial killer in Hollyoaks, but you also have um, Silas in the Da Vinci Code. Now, he's basically a serial killer as well, so they, they both represent Satan. So... Lana Del Rey is just like Rey in Star Wars, because they both represent the Revelation 12 woman. But also, Lana Del Rey is also like Lana Benico in Star Wars The Old Republic. Because Lana Benico represents the Rev 12 woman as well. In Inferno, there is a lagoon mentioned, and it represents just like Goo Lagoon out of SpongeBob SquarePants. Now, it's also got to do with the black goo coming, um, just like the Venom symbiote out of Spider-Man and Marvel. See? Black Order, just like black goo. That's why Batman wears black. See Revelation 12 and the King James Bible. And the earth helps the woman for the earthquakes. Now I swear this Havana song is a Mandela effect because I swear I heard it years and years ago. 